Hi everyone, Mr. Hogg here. And since I hit 100 subscribers, I thought that I would celebrate and show you my classroom. Okay, so first let's start by looking at the blackboard. Every day I put the month and then the day up here. And here there is some sliding information, it's magnetic, that lets the students know what kind of materials they need before class so that they can get ready during the break time. Today they needed their reading book and a pencil. They didn't need their notebook or the crayons and markers. Okay, now up here I have just sort of a reminder of what elements that we're looking for when we read books. You know, for now, more elements will be added throughout the year. But uh, title and author, the basics, the setting, characters, and genre. These are also slidable, so if, um, you know, I want to talk about the author of Henry and Mudge, then um, I would say that it is Cynthia Ryland and makes sort of talking about things a bit easier. Um, okay, also, this is my list of helpers. I want to encourage my students to help one another. Um, sometimes, sometimes a student can explain something uh, in a more effective way to another student than I can, especially if they're struggling. Um, you know, they might feel more comfortable learning from uh, a peer than they do from me. So if I catch a student helping someone else, then their name goes up on the board as kind of um, just an acknowledgement of their contribution. And also they get dojo points for that, which, you know, can be fun. All right, then over here is my desk. A little bit messy right now, but let me just show you around. Here is the metal arm that holds, oops, that holds the camera that I use to record the Mr. Hog Reads books. So, um, so it'll say like, you know, hello everyone. And today we're reading, you know, blah, 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 blah. So uh, that's pretty cool. Moving to the back of the room. Here we have the big TV and where I can show either PowerPoints or YouTube videos. The, the students get a real kick out of you know, seeing me on YouTube. One of my jokes is that, um, you know, YouTube Mr. Hogg sometimes gets more respect than uh, real life Mr. Hogg. But anyways, that's kind of fun. When, um, if the students are watching me read them a book on YouTube, it frees me up to move around the class to, you know, manage things or help someone or organize or make use of my time. Okay, back here I've got pencils and pencil sharpeners. This is all accessible for the students without having to ask me. That's what this whole back shelf is for. And, but um, they still just make a habit of always asking me if they can get a pencil. I wish they would just remember. You can always get a pencil, you don't have to ask. And then down here, is my mini library of books. I bought these books from a used bookstore. So um, it allows the students to borrow the English books. For anyone who doesn't know, um, I, work, I work in South Korea and so their homerooms, which are across the way, have Korean books. Um, they have a really big library with an English section in it, but still I want the books to be in my classroom to just give them all the chances in the world to read if they want to. All right, here's just some cubbies where the students can keep their stuff. This is the reading book that um, you know makes the core of the course. It's called Journeys. And then just below there's the notebooks and it looks like some students are keeping some extra work down there. Okay, and let's take a look just on the, at the window. So up here, I hope you can see it. There is a, is a ruler that says 10 and then 20 and halfway there. 
and then 30, all the way up to 50. And what this represents is the number of books that the students have read. Each student has a symbol, and when they read a book, their, their, their name, their name's on the other side, their name advances along so that we can see there are two students here who appear to have read nine books, two at eight, three at seven, and then, um, you know, there are so many who've read four or five books that uh, it kind of bunched up here. I think next time I'll make their symbols a little bit smaller. Okay, and just on the outside. And here on my window, I use markers that can write on glass. And so here is the science fiction zone where I put different science fiction, um, like icons or tropes. Here's a robot, there's a rocket ship, and here's a little green alien in a UFO, just so that um, one of the things that we're studying right now is genre. And I have these big windows, so I made this the science fiction reminder, and then here is the fantasy reminder. So we have a unicorn and Garfield, it says fantasy land. And uh, here looks like a wizard, some kind of fairy, and a little princess. Okay. So, um, as what I'm teaching changes, I'm going to update, um, you know, the pictures that I put on my windows. And, um, yeah, we also have some, like, some decorations up here, some crafts that the students made before. Uh, we were learning about China in one of the lessons, so there was a pa paper lantern uh, craft. Well, anyways, that's it. That's my classroom. Uh, really excited to have 100 subscribers. Feel free to ask me questions, leave a like, um, leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah. See you next time.